Hello and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper and today is our follow-up video to Saturday's video of the plate that I did the SAE O-ring fitting um, counter bores and then tapped them and there were a lot of good questions and comments and in the follow-up videos on Wednesday here we always address those questions and comments and there were a lot, a lot of really good overlapping questions about um, the gun drilling. Many of you don't know what gun drilling is, and I'm gonna try to put some pictures up here kind of demonstrating how it works, but basically the plate would have been mounted stationary on a machine. The, there's a rotating spindle with the drill, very similar to um, one of my spade drills, and it's very long. High pressure coolant is pushed through that drill to clear the chips, but it's also supported in one if not two more places along the length of the shaft of that drill. So it's very stable and with that extra support out there as you're pushing and plowing, cutting that material and forcing the chips out with that high pressure coolant, it's going fairly straight. Now gun drilling is, is something I've never done. I've never seen it done. I've heard of it. I know of places that do it and quite honestly the places that do it that's what they do. They do nothing else. Um, it is so specialized and so um, it's, there's such a demand for it that these places, that's all they do. They focus on that, nothing else. So that brings me to one of the next questions is why didn't the gun driller do the counter bore and the uh, tapping? They're not set up for it. It's not something they do. Now this particular gun driller, I think I, think I know which one it is. Um, so this job was for a customer of mine, a CNC shop. This plate is a fixture plate. Um, there's hydraulic fluid fed through and then they were going to drill and mount all their controls and everything on there, their solenoid valves and whatnot. And the ports that go all the way through are just for fluid to power everything and returns and whatnot. And it keeps everything really clean on that plate. So the reason I did it Got, got the job to do the, the counter boring and the tapping was because the gun driller that did this job said, no, we're not set up for doing that kind of stuff, so have somebody else do it. So that's why I did it. Now, if it's the gun driller that I think it is that did this, I don't know for sure. I forgot to look at the paperwork. Um, they can do, I think it was up to, up to three feet of quarter inch in one shot. And I know for a fact they did this plate from each end. So there were questions about that. Are there fittings on both ends? Yes, it was from both ways. I only filmed one side of this. So it made it a little bit cleaner video. Um, you know, I, mean, I could have flipped it over and done the same thing over and just made the video longer, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. You got the gist of it. Um, so they can do, I think it was up to three feet of quarter inch up to was it 10 feet of half inch and up to 30 feet over that. So the bigger the drill, the more length you can get. It, it's pretty cool, the, the, the process. Um, if you get a chance, find some videos, do some, do some Google research and find some gun drillers um, videos and watch that. It's really neat how it's done. And gun drilling just goes back to drilling rifle barrels. That's how it all got started. It's, there's a lot of support in that drill and it's a special grind on the drill as well. I, I don't know much about it other than high pressure coolant, um, oil generally um, forced through that thing. At, I think it's a couple thousand PSI, so it's very high pressure and pushing them chips back and then multiple supports on the drill, the rotating drill, your fixed part, and it just feeds it at a steady, I think they're hydraulically fed, so there's steady feed so really cool process. I hope you enjoyed the video on Saturday. I'm sure there's more questions, but uh, I think I addressed the really critical ones that you all had. Now, what's coming up? Well, Saturday, we set the poles for the sawmill shed. So that video is coming on Saturday. So stay tuned, that's really cool. And there's a lot of work that's going into, <laughs> since we set the poles, now I have to build all the adapters to get the drive shaft outside the building so we can run the mill again. So uh, stay tuned, a lot of neat stuff coming. I've got the steam engine stuff coming. I've got some more drag line stuff coming. We're just working on stuff and working my way through. So stay tuned and until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.